Good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. Today is Tuesday, May the 5th, 2020, and happy Catholic Education Week. This morning, before we move into prayer, I would like to begin by reading to you a letter from the Ontario Catholic Bishops to all students for Catholic Education Week. And I quote, Students, you are a most significant educational influence on each other. We invite you to become active participants in the process of Catholic education. We urge you to bring your energy, enthusiasm, and generosity to the task of building a Catholic community within your school and to shaping the vision of Catholic education. Your strengths and your weaknesses, your joys and your fears, your struggles and your searchings will be welcomed in this community. Whatever your age, you are not too young to assume responsibility with and for your fellow peers. You are a most significant educational influence on each other. You can help each other become disciples of Jesus Christ, or you can hinder each other from becoming everything you are called to be. How you are with one another will now significantly influence how you will be with others as adults. The future of the church and its mission of service in the world will be yours. And so for this, you will need courage, self-discipline, and the love you're able to give. Take up the challenge of growing into a sense of who you are so that you can develop the talents you have been given and bring the best of yourself to the society in which you will be living." End quote. What a beautiful letter to all of our students. And I thought it would be um, fitting to share that with you this morning as we continue uh, on our uh, day two of Catholic Education Week. And today's sub-theme is the hope within us. As people of faith, we carry the light of Christ's love within us. This is the hope and the burning in our hearts that we bring to the world. It is a hope that brings redemption and overcomes darkness. And so with that, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road? This from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 32. When the disciples lost their friend Jesus, they felt abandoned. They did not understand how to move forward. In other words, they had no hope. They meet a stranger who brings that hope back to them. Reflecting on the experience of meeting Christ again, one of the apostles asks, Were not our hearts burning when we heard him speak? Hope is a conviction. It leaves us with burning hearts. God gives us the gift of hope dwelling within us. In the reflection today, remember this phrase, and I quote, Were not our hearts burning? End quote. There are prophets among us every day who ignite the fire within us, as God works through them. God of all people, your Son brought hope to the world. Jesus showed us that God's love is inclusive and is there for everyone. Help us to see this hope alive in our world today. When we feel defeated by the darkness that humanity can inflict upon the world, help us to remember that hope dwells within us through the limitless love of your God. Amen. And now together, please join me as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, <clears throat> good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. A few announcements, and again, all of our uh, events for this week are posted on our social media platforms, uh, but just to highlight a few uh, things for you this Tuesday morning. Uh, in about, uh, yeah, at about 9 a.m. this morning, so in about less than an hour, just over an hour, I will be meeting and interviewing the Office of Vocations for the Archdiocese of Toronto. Uh, it just seems fitting today that uh, the hope within us being the sub-theme that we look at our discernment, that we look at our vocation, our calling. And so this morning I will be interviewing the Director of the Office of Vocations, Father Chris Lemieux, along with Joe DeFonzo, the Program Coordinator, and a seminarian. This is a student who is studying to become a priest. So I will interview them this morning. It will be a taped interview. 
and I will then make it available to all staff and students uh, later this morning. As well, tomorrow we continue on with our spilling tea segment, a more personal view of the guests that we invite on to speak with me. Uh, tomorrow's special guest will be Miss Badalini. That's right, your principal. Uh, she will be on our segment. You have to join us, please do. It's at 8 p.m. live on Instagram at Ambrosia Chaplaincy, spilling tea with your principal, Miss Badalini. A reminder for all staff, and I will send out the link again this morning, we will be uh, meeting today, or there will be office hours, a drop-in hours with the chaplain. Uh, today, again, 3.30 to 4.30, and that's every Tuesday. As well, throughout the month of May, on weekdays, we will be praying the rosary, live on Instagram at Ambrosic Chaplaincy, daily at 3 p.m. So please, could you join me? If you have a chance today, please do join me. And also, if you have... Um, if you wish, you could help me lead uh, the decades or a decade each. So again, today, 3 p.m., we will be praying the rosary as we will be every day. Please join us if you can. And finally, all other activities and events for Catholic Education Week are posted on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And as well, you could follow us daily on YouTube at, Catholic, at uh, Cardinal Ambrose at Catholic Secondary School Office of Chaplaincy for your daily morning prayer and announcements. Cardinal Ambrosic, it's a beautiful sunny day out there. Have yourselves a beautiful day. God bless you, and we will see you tomorrow.